let's face it, there's only one reason we were able to afford uh, uh, um, uh, this lockdown was through quantitative easing. And I think, you know, quantitative easing needs a huge amount of scrutiny. Can you explain uh, what it is quickly? Well, quantitative easing is literally the Bank of England, and we're never quite sure who regulates the Bank of England. Uh, it's always a question uh, I ask who regulates the regulator. Yeah. The answer is uh, nobody, apparently. It's supposed to be Parliament, but as we know, Parliament has no teeth can't even manage its civil servants, let alone the Bank of England, who are supposed to be independent. So what they do is they literally create money from nothing, diluting people's savings, diluting everything. And what they then do is buy government bonds. And they're supposed to be reversing QE now. They've been doing it since 2008. Uh, they've done a, a, nearly a trillion of, of QE. And last week, you know, I don't know why we're all in, in, in such sort of par paroxysms of debate about this 5p tax uh, uh, cut for the rich. That was going to result in £2 billion for the Treasury. But as a result of uh, pension funds getting themselves into all sorts of problems in the swap market, uh, there was a rumour in the city that the British Telecom Pension Fund was called for £4 billion and couldn't afford to pay the margin call. Uh, hence, there was a general panic, again, a failure of our regulators who never seemed to anticipate any of these major problems. And the bank created another 65 billion, which takes us up to nearly a trillion uh, over, since 2008. Uh, I call it getting high on your own supply. Uh, if you or I did it, the uh, regulators would lock us up for fraud uh, because effectively they would say you're not allowed to print your own cash and spend it on, 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 on whatever you feel like.